Time to connect the dots. We're taking a story, it's a little complicated, we're trying to put it into context. One of the city's most recognizable signs is getting a facelift, and it is not the first time. Why has the massive Amoco sign changed over the years? We connect the dots. You've probably driven by it hundreds of times. The Amoco sign at Clayton and Skinker is hard to miss. But why has the sign gone through so many changes? Let's connect the dots. There has always been a massive sign at the gas station near the southwest corner of Forest Park. The first one went up in the 30s. Standard red crown was illuminated in neon. In the 50s, the station changed hands. The original building and sign were torn down and updated in 1959. A new standard oil sign was put in its place. It was a fixture at that spot until the early 90s when the station signed a lease with Amoco. In 1993, the sign was taken apart piece by piece, painted, and put back together. And even after BP bought Amoco 20 years ago, the iconic sign remained a fixture on the Midtown skyline. BP brought back Amoco as a complimentary brand a couple of years ago, and now that Amoco is returning to St. Louis, the sign is getting its latest new look. And that's Connecting the Dots. Renovations on the sign are expected to be completed as soon as possible. Painters need temperatures at 50 degrees or warmer to finish their work.